Your state is special, just like every other state. Learn more about what New York has to offer before spending your hard-won cash playing slots. New York has 11 tribal casinos, 8 paramutual racetracks with slot machines, 4 casino resorts, and 2 nearby Canadian casinos. The minimum legal gambling age in New York depends upon the gambling activity. For casinos, it's 21, 19, or 18, depending on location. For poker rooms, it's 21. For bingo, the lottery, and paramutual racing, it's 18. The legal gambling age is 21 for casinos owned by the Seneca Nation of Indians, but 18 for other casinos in New York. At Canadian casinos in the province of Ontario, the minimum legal gambling age is 19. For the province of Quebec, it's 18. Until 1993, tribal casinos in the state of New York had only Class II bingo halls. That year, the St. Regis Homohawk tribe negotiated a tribal state compact for Class III Vegas-style slot machines. As a result, all Class III tribal casinos have video lottery terminals, VLTs, controlled by the New York State Lottery. While these electronic games appear to be typical video slot machines, the results of a bet are instead determined off-site by a central lottery system. It is legal to own a slot machine privately in the state of New York if it is 30 years old or older. Created in 2012, the New York State Gaming Commission has merged with the New York State Division of Lottery and the New York State Racing and Wagering Board. Currently, this commission regulates all aspects of gaming activity in the state of New York, including charitable gaming. New York has 11 tribal casinos, 8 paramutual racetracks with slot machines, and 4 casino resorts. For the 11 tribal casinos, 7 have Class 3 Vegas-style slot machines, while 4 have Class 2 bingo-style gaming machines. In this map, I show the location of each land-based casino. The state of New York has an extraordinary gaming industry because of the many types of casinos available to its residents. New York has tribal casinos with and without tribal compacts, casino resorts, racinos, cruise ships, and even readily accessible international casinos just across the border to Canada. Each casino type in New York has its own gaming regulations, so theoretical payout limits and return statistics have several variations. First, Class II competition-style gaming machines at tribal casinos are subject to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act of federal law, which does not set payout limits nor require public reporting of return statistics. Second, Class III Vegas-style slot machines at tribal casinos are subject to Tribal State Gaming Compacts, stating VLTs are controlled off-site by the New York State Lottery. These VLTs have a minimum theoretical pay limit of 92%, but no return statistics are publicly available. Third, commercial casino resorts do not have theoretical payout limits, but return statistics are publicly available as weekly and monthly reports. You can see this in the Commercial Gaming Reports tab at the New York State Gaming Commission. Fourth, commercial racetracks with their video slot machines do not have theoretical payout limits, but return statistics are publicly available as weekly and monthly reports. See the Video Gaming Reports tab at the New York State Gaming Commission. Regarding monthly return statistics for the commercial sites, player win percent is available only after performing a simple calculation. Specifically, divide credits won by credits played and then multiply the result by 100% to get player win percent. But you can track your personal return to player with Slots Gambling Records. To learn how, I highly recommend this video on keeping your Slots Gambling Records for the IRS, but also straightforward gameplay analysis. You'll be amazed how easy and helpful they are.